Happy Friday to you all. Um, this is the final round two preview, and who expected this matchup right here? Now raise your hand if you thought that these two teams would meet in round two. Put your hands down. Don't lie. So, New York Islanders versus Carolina Hurricanes. Another wild card. Isn't that nice? All four wild card teams are in the playoffs. Round two. So, this is going to be an interesting series. Well, the Islanders. Of course, they swept the Penguins in the round one. They have had a 10-day rest. The Hurricanes, they defeated the defending champions, the Washington Capitals, in seven games. But with the rest comes a rust. And that could be interesting for the New York Islanders to see how they deal with the rust. We saw how Columbus played in game one against the Bruins, and we saw that rust in that first period. We probably will be seeing that in the first period tonight against the Hurricanes, but can the Hurricanes take advantage is the question. The points leaders for the Islanders, now Eberle has four goals in four games, six points. Barzell has five assists. Bailey, three goals, one assist. Fupla, four assists. Nelson, three goals. Carolina, Slavin has nine assists in seven games. Fogel has four goals, two assists. Hamilton and Stahl each have three goals, three assists, six points. Aho, McGinn, Two goals, three assists, five points. Tara Vinen, of course, also has three goals and an assist for four points. I didn't include that. Now, Peter Morazic has not played as well as I thought he would. Certainly, he's one of the big reasons why the Hurricanes are in round two. But 899 safe percentage, you wouldn't expect that from Morazic. But yet they are still here in round two. Robin Leonard, 4 0. He's allowed six goals in four games. 1.47 goals in average, 9.56 save percentage. Probably the underlying factor why the Islanders were able to sweep the Penguins. Morazic, he's 4-3. and three. He allowed 19 goals in 7 games. 2.54 goals in average and 899 save percentage. The numbers might not reflect it, but in the heat of the moment when it really counts, Morazic has been there. Grice and McElhaney are the backups for their respective teams. Special teams for the power play... Uh, not really special. 15.4% for the Islanders, 12% for the Canes. Though the penalty kill is 90.9% for the Islanders, 75% for the Canes. Uh, the Islanders won the season series 3-1. Outscoring the Canes 11-7. As I do this comparison, I do realize that the Islanders have played three less games and that maybe not everything's the most accurate. But still, on paper, Carolina looks like they have the edge for points, but that's seven games. The Islanders have been doing pretty well, of course, as well. The points are there for the four-game stretch, so maybe the Islanders have a better point percentage per player. 
This might be a goaltending duel between Leonard and Morazic, but we'll see if Morazic can step up to the task and not allow too many goals. Leonard, we trust that he will do very well. I wouldn't worry about him. Now this might be a close series. Hurricanes, they are 3-0 and at home. Islanders, they are 2-0 and at home. Islanders have home ice advantage. And seeing to that, the Islanders could just win all their home games and win this in seven. But that's how the Capitals lost. They lost game seven. They won all the other games at home, but they lost the important one, Game 7. The Islanders, they were pretty good in Round 1. And I do see them being able to beat the Hurricanes. I am going to say in 6 games. Because Carolina, they proved to be re very resilient. But if the Islanders do not... Beat the Canes in six games. We already know what's going to happen in Game 7. Because Mr. Game 7 is going to show up and wreck the Islanders. So the Islanders better finish it up quick. And I do see that they will. But seeing as I was just 2 out of 8 in my predictions in Round 1. I only got... The Boston-Toronto series and the Islanders and Penguins series, correct, I believe. Yes. Two out of eight in round one. We'll see how these predictions go. Of course, the Blues beat the Stars in game one and the... Bruins beat the Jackets in Game 1, but we'll see what happens in Game 1, which will be on Friday the 26th at 4 p.m. Pacific in New York. I'll talk to you guys later when we get some good Stanley Cup news. Until then, see you later.